Hello guys, um, my name is Laurel and today I want to show you how you can use your AMX Trex device to power up a heart transmitter. Now we have a Yokogawa um, differential pressure transmitter here which is about 3,000 uh, 3, millibar. So I'll be showing you how you can use this to power this. Now for this our transmitter, we don't have any uh, external 24 volt power supply. Um, already is connected, but it's not yet powered or control, uh, connected to a control system. So basically, we'll be using this to power this. So I will show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is to um, connect the um, cables to the positive and negative terminal of your uh, heart device, uh, your heart uh, differential pressure transmitter. So. If you come a little closer, um, this is our positive and this is our negative. So I will be hooking up this um, to this. Now, how do you identify this? This is the positive to go to the positive terminal and this is the negative. It will go to the negative terminal. So I will be needing a screwdriver to do that. Um, so I just need to um, take this out a little to create a little space and I hook up my positive to that and next thing I also just need to open this a little to create a little space and I hook up my negative to that so we are done connecting it to the transmitter and next thing we need to do is if you look at your AMX tracks it has different ports here we have hats you use this port when you have an external power supply coming into your transmitter then you don't need to power it up you just need to run your checks so that's when you use this now if you come a little closer and you look at this you see heart plus power you use heart plus power when you use heart plus power when you want to use this to power up your transmitter and also to run your check so you use this heart plus power now a million pairs you use this when you want to use your transmitter as a multimeter why this you use this when your transmitter or your device is a field bus type so like i said this doesn't have any external um, 24 volt coming in so we'll be making use of heart plus power so this is the red positive terminal negative and if you look at my cable this is positive this is negative so this red place goes into this place and next thing I need to do is to power up my transmitter. Uh, sorry, my um, Trex device. So just need to keep it somewhere here. I have good balance. Now give it a little time. It's coming up. As you can see. So, so, so we're waiting for it to come up. So closer now, you can see um, our Trex device is powered up. <coughs> oh, still booting and waiting. So now it's coming up. This is our display screen. So we go to field communicator, click on field communicator and um, wait for the next available instruction <coughs> still booting you have to give it some time and okay here we go so it says um no voltage detected no communication now we have options hat Heart offline, field bus, field bus offline. But because this is a heart device, we click on heart. And it's asking us, do you intend to provide power from Trex units? Do you want to use this to power up this? So what we do, we say yes. So it's saying, ensure your field device is not connected to a control system before proceeding. Are you providing power to a transmitter or a positioner? Obviously, our device is not connected to our transmitter is not connected to any control unit so 
um, we are using this to power this, so we have to select this. So it says, are you providing power to a transmitter or a positioner? This is obviously not a positioner, it's a transmitter. So we select transmitter. Then we'll wait for the next option. So it said voltage provided from hat plus power. Now, um, if you come to the transmitter, let's put our camera at this. Now you can see our transmitter is powered up. It's, we can see we have 1.23 millibar, but these are not powered up because we are not working on these yet. They are not powered up, but this is powered up. But we have a problem. Now, what is the problem? The problem is... We have successfully powered up our transmitter, but our transmitter is not yet establishing a communication with um, the um, transmitter. So what do you do? What you do is you come here, it's asking us, change pooling option. This is how advanced the Trex device is. So we say yes. Now it's saying um, we have different addresses we need to change the pooling option to. So we select um zero to 15 address range zero to 15 and we say okay so we give it some time now it said heart device found you can see um it says address one so we select address one and we give it some time pulling complete so now you can see this display blinking right here goes to tell you that our Trex device is trying to establish connection with our um, transmitter. Now it's connected fully. So we can see our process variable, DIAG services, device setup. So we go to process variable and we can see the pressure, pressure percentage, AO, lower range, upper range. Now we have successfully connected our heart Trex device to transmitter. How? What we see here is the pressure currently on the transmitter is minus 1.3 millibar. And let us look at the pressure we have on the screen of the transmitter. We can also see we have minus 1.31 millibar. So what we have on the transmitter screen is also what we have on our hard tracks. So it means that we can now use this to um, um, rearrange or work on our transmitter because we are connected. We've finally been able to connect our transmitter to the heart Trex device and also power it. So this is the pressure, 1.3 millibar. Pressure percentage, minus 0 0.03. Um, our upper range, 0, 0.0 millibar. Um, lower range is 0, 0.0 millibar. Upper range is 5,000 millibar. And this is 5,000 millibar transmitter if you come to confirm it if you look at your transmitter here you can see just zoom into here you can see calibration range is zero to five thousand um millibar you can see millibar is here so heart uh, device so this is how you can be able to connect uh, your heart transmitter to uh, a trex device very easy. All you need to do is just know the right steps to take. Um, thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for my next updated video. Thank you.